Close to 100 community leaders were on hand to hold the symbolic groundbreaking on the Atlanta Film Studios Paulding County just off Bill Carruth Parkway Tuesday. It was symbolic because the pad for the studio is already down and one entire office building complex is complete in the process of being finished for the county movie studio effort. The facility has been a lightning rod by some in the county who have targeted the facility for criticism. Some officials in the county suggest that the criticism was a little bit off base and happened primarily because the complainers couldn't complain about a tax hike because, well, the county didn't raise taxes. Regardless, the project, dubbed Atlanta Film Studios Pauling County, is wholly owned by the Industrial Building Authority. The IBA has, in turn, contracted with Roadtown Enterprises Incorporated as its consultant and operations management. We talked with Roadtown principal Nick Smerigen and found out that Atlanta Film Studios Pauling County is actually represents a new model for a movie and television production facility that's based on the proposition that maximizing profits of production companies by lowering production costs is the path to success. Hence, Pauling's facility, rather than featuring gold fixtures, lavish fountains, and Hollywood fluff, is actually a lean, strictly business venture. We talked with Smergen about this new model production facility. This is a studio for the future. This is what the model is going to be moving forward. Okay. Uh, it is a uh, financial model that works. Okay, uh, in the new market, and we're all in a new market whether we want to believe it or not. Even though movies are doing great at the box office and everything, getting that money together to make a movie and the television shows is still somewhat difficult for the Hollywood scene. So uh, Jeremy and I have put together a model that we believe is going to work well into the future. Financially, it makes sense, but both for the community and for the client. And and that's what we're looking at. The facility is going to be great. We have the ability to expand both there and across the street. And we have enough facility right now, I think, to you know, get us into what we need to get into and, and serve the clients that are going to be important to us. Okay. I think that we are going to be done, finished through, and have a building with keys in our hands the first week of December of this year. We are motoring, as you can see around you and from the groundbreaking today. It wasn't really a groundbreaking, it was more uh, symbolic because we have a pad, we have footings, we're, we're motoring along, uh, and it's going to be really, really exciting. This building that uh, exists on the other side, uh, y'all have got that as well as this, and that's going to be for TV, I understand. No. There, it is going to be production offices, mill space, and we're going to house the lighting and grip in that facility too. And the stages are strictly going to be for shooting. Okay. What but we can shoot in the mill if we need to. Okay. Okay. So uh, this facility is uh, going to be two studios, three studios, uh, one two, big studio. Two stages, 20,000 square feet, okay. 35 feet high. Uh, all clear span, uh, so there are no posts in it or anything else like that. And uh, the nice thing about this kind of space is it can be what anybody wants it to be. It can be a home in London, it can be a bar in Ireland, it could be whatever you want it to be. While the IBA is the lead agency, the direction and push for this project came from the Commission. Laurie Penny interviewed Commission Chairman David Austin about the promise of this effort and its possible local impact. Here's that interview. Is why a movie studio? Uh, Georgia has one of the best uh, film uh, tax credits in the nation. Uh, Hollywood is moving to Georgia. Uh, we looked at it and saw that uh, just in two years alone there was $1.4 billion uh, spent in the film industry in Georgia. Why not get a hold of that? Uh, there's a few things that are, are recession proof. The film industry seems to be, healthcare seems to be, and aviation. So we focused in those three areas. And uh, the beauty here is the film industry, we use a lot of local folks. They'll need electricians, plumbers. Uh, the uh, stage is constantly changing. They'll need places to stay, dry cleaners, uh, places to eat. So we're excited about the economic impact. Uh, looking at uh, Sonoya, 
uh, that did this a few years ago, and also Peachtree City with the filming of Drop Dead Divas. Uh, we looked at it as our wild card. So, and upon building a new hospital that will bring 500 jobs straight down the road and the new uh, airport built the first in 30 years in Georgia, uh, looking at tying in uh, the newest airport with the busiest airport as just uh, streamlined for the entertainment industry and the film industry. And another question that they had had was, why now? We're in an economic downturn. People are very nervous about where their tax dollars are going. So why did y'all pull the trigger now on this project? Great question. Now is absolutely the best time in the world to build a studio. You're building about a third the price that you would have built it a few years ago. Uh, we were unfortunate for the original developer, but we were able to buy a business part that was in foreclosure. Uh, that wouldn't have happened uh, four or five years ago or anywhere in the future. So now is the best time to spend this money, and the tax credits are out there, and they're available for filmmakers to come to Georgia and to Paulding County. So it couldn't be a more exciting time. It's pretty easy to lead when economic development is great, is a lot harder in struggling hard times. So uh, I, I hope that people say that I had the vision uh, to bring this here. And then if all else fails, we have a beautiful building for Jamie Gilbert, our economic development director, uh, to sell because we're constantly being asked for uh, uh, buildings that are available and thousands of square feet and we just don't have that. So if all else fails, uh, and the movie industry is not successful, then we have a beautiful business park and warehouse to uh, sell for the future. And another question that they had, uh, a lot of people were curious about direct benefit to them from this movie studio and how long it would take for them to see those results. Uh, those results should be, according to uh, Nick Smirgan with Rotown Enterprises, uh, in December, the, the uh, studio should be ready. Uh, if you're a plumber, if you're an electrician, if you're a caterer, uh, if you're a dry cleaner, if you own a hotel, uh, you can start benefiting from this. You may even uh, find uh, to be an extra in a movie. Uh, we had several hundred people that were called in and paid to be extras in the joyful noise that was filmed at the Dallas Theater last year. And uh, that's a Queen Lativa, Dolly Parton, and Chris Christopherson movie. So uh, it's a chance for the people that uh, have that ability. Plus, we're starting to see Chattahoochee Tech uh, and our colleges teach to the film industry, the filmmaking, uh, the uh, 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 designated for camera and uh, operation of those products. Uh, Georgia is waiting and ready, and Baldwin County is too. So immediate opportunity for employment for our local folks. And this building directly behind you, this is the building? This is the building that we uh, bought in foreclosure. And uh, uh, years ago, this wouldn't have been available to us. But unfortunately, uh, in our day's time, uh, it was an opportunity to get this building. And uh, you know, you never know if there's an opportunity with MGM or anybody uh, that'd like to uh, purchase this property. So. We're wide open to make this a success. And we are now looking at what is actually going to be the sound and film studio, the passport. It is, and uh, it's built with uh, reinforced steel. If you need to uh, hang a uh, airplane or you need to hang a car uh, from the ceiling, you'll be able to. Uh, a lot of makeshift has taken place uh, throughout Georgia to get ready. And from the ground floor up, we've used Rotown Enterprises, uh, who have produced movies like uh, The Terminator uh, and others uh, that were very successful. So it's exciting to see this come to Pauling County. For Pauling.com, G. Patton Hughes reporting.